<laughs> Yo, so I reached out on Instagram and I asked for your hot takes on the stance car community. So let's talk about it. First hot take is three, two, six wings are played out. Now I'm gonna keep it a thousand. The dude that made this comment, his car would actually look pretty good with a three, two, six wing. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck, man? Like, come on, am I right or am I right? Three, two, six wings are kind of played out. But since the guy it's coming from has a car that would look really good with three, two, six wing, I'm gonna say it's an L take. Probably like, ah, oh, damn, why L take? Nah, let me tell you why. You got cars like this. Yeah, I still shake up both squat. You got cars like that. Got city on the come up. Shot that nigga. All these cars look fire with 326 wings. And it does, it takes a lot of work to put a 326 wing on your car, you know, because it doesn't come with like, you know, instructions and, sh and stuff like that. One day if I wrote this. I love the look. There's nothing quite like looking at a stance car sitting on the ground with cambered ass wheels. But damn, is it so impractical. Now, that's not really a take. That's just kind of facts. Uh, let's keep it moving. You know, a lot of these comments are pretty negative. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty positive dude, right? But this guy is also speaking facts. I mean, these are hot takes, you know? This is juicy stuff. You know what I'm saying? This guy says, most people hate my stance, have no taste, or are NPCs. W take. Bro, the amount of times I be getting hate comments, or I see other people getting hate comments, and you click on their profile, but it's on Instagram, and it's just a private account, two followers, following a thousand people, and bro, every, every time you see them comment, bro, this shit trash, this shit garbage. People with dead brain cells be doing it. They got automatically generated dialogue for themselves to automatically hate. W take, W take. We're really burning pretty quick on these hot takes. Majority of stance folks don't do that shit because they like it. They do it for the attention, positive or negative. For this hot take, it's a little bit different. But what I will say for this is that positive or negative attention, whatever, right? But if that's your sole purpose for doing this, you're not really adding to the community, but you're also not really, you know, making it any worse technically. So. It's not like the worst thing if you're in it for the attention. It's just kind of an annoyance more than anything uh, because people who are just doing it for the attention are usually the loudest guys. And they're also, you know, have the loudest wheels, the loudest car, I'm talking about your VQ owners, and, you know, the loudest rap, paint, whatever you choose. It's a W tape because it is annoying, but it's not also not an L tape because it is facts. It is facts. And then everybody wanna dip, told you I ain't worried, I ain't scared of Mad camber, but having a visible gap on your car is not the move. Yeah, that's. It's pretty valid. For all you fitment fanatics out there, uh, I think we can all agree that if you have fire fitment, but you're not low, is your fitment really that fire? The cars don't need three piece as long as you got five fitment, but you for GMR RS. Really, you don't need three piece, but you also don't need GMR. GMRs are whack, but you don't need three piece wheels to have fire fitment because look, I did on the T's, this dude did it on like, well, don't get me wrong, they're reps, but if the fitment is fire, in my opinion, who cares if they're real, real wheels or not? But for GMRs. For the love of money. This one's funny. Being static is only a flex if it's your daily. That's kind of like saying like your car is your personality, bro. If static is your daily, you know, you know, round, good for you, bro. But you should never make your cars your personality. And coming from experience, having a static daily is not the best thing to do because dude that is the most uncomfortable brutal excruciating ride you can ever experience especially for dragon frame bro come on now so this one's this one got some link to it i've been around the stand scene for over 10 years now and i will say social media cloud chasing has changed the scene for the worse 2011 to 2016-ish the scene was relaxed as fuck People built cars because they wanted to, how they wanted to. Back then, you'd see all kinds of different stuff stands, and now it seems to be all the same cars. It's all mostly brother builds now. Shit looks like suburban housing. The builds look the same, but slightly different, and it's all mostly for clout. Creativity in the stand scene has died, for the most part. Everyone is trying to be that guy instead of car group. Back then, I could only wish to get into one. Groups like Violent, Battle Game, etc. was a big, deal and now a new group really pops up every week and it's not really cool anymore the stand scene isn't chill anymore it's hyped up on meth and clout 
Facts. Facts. Now, that's a lot to take in, but to summarize what he said in my brain, 2011 to 2016 was peak car scene. I think that was just peak for everybody in every aspect of every part of life, really. That was like the time to be alive, bro. I can't speak too heavily on this take. I didn't join the stance car scene until like late 2021, okay? Uh, I was doing slam cars and whatnot in like 2019, but nothing like stance, stuff like that. The part about a new car group coming up every week, bro, there's like a bajillion of them, bro. Some people, you look at their bios and they have 30 car groups, bro. Bro, it's insane. There's a thousand car groups out here. And I'm not here to, you know, rant about it. I'm just saying like, is that W or L take? You guys let me know. My bad guys, look, real quick, I didn't realize I had toothpaste on my lip this entire time. I can't necessarily refilm the video because all my answers to these comments were very genuine. But on the bright side, at least I brushed my teeth. Let's continue. How embarrassing. Camber is nice, but there's a limit. Don't need that back to the future look. Now, I will say this, anything over like 25, bro, it's pretty insane to me. A lot of cars look very different with different types of camber. So you have cars that will look really good with negative 20 and it wouldn't even look like negative 20 on the car. Like for instance, this guy. This car guy has a lot of camber. It doesn't look like it though. And then you have cars that can run minimal camber and it looks ridiculous. It's all subjective, but there is a limit. And I'm not calling this dude out. Not bad on his build like that, but this is a lot of camber, okay? I think he's on like negative 30, bro. That is a crap ton, okay. Now is it back to the future? Yes, does it look great? Hey, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. But yes, there, there is a limit to all of this. I see it as we can talk about it on my own hot takes, <laughs> yeah. I'm not a stance guy by any means, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. But to me, the stance community is split in half to be honest. You got the really cool stance guys who love it for the look, to use quality part setups, etc. They love the scene, the people, etc. Then you got the hella click stance dudes, and if you're not someone who's known, slash they know, or you're coming up with hella clout fast, you're absolutely irrelevant to them. It always seems like a rush to finish their cars and get mad when people point out their sloppy work and how little time they actually spent just for clout. But again, I'm not in the stance community, so take my opinion, very small, but this is what I kind of see being around the stance peeps a lot. Wow, okay. So yes, yeah, so I would say the stance scene is pretty split. You have dudes who want their cars to be built as cheap as possible, but with the most amount of reward, social reward. And you have guys who are taking their time and they're doing it for themselves and they're not rushing their build. And I'm not gonna lie, I was one of them. I was rushing my build every year just to get down the gap, every single year, bro. And I would always rush everything. Like my car would be so half-assed all the time, dude. Like it looks pretty from the outside, but the closer you get, man, that shit, that shit clap. Because I never cheaped out on parts, but I cheaped out on like, you know, getting everything to fit properly. And oh, just a bunch, of, a bunch of stuff fell into the process where I was slacking, man. I was slacking in my build. And then you have guys who take your time, you know, they don't pop out for years, bro. Like you got guys who, who start their build in like 2017 and they're just now popping out in 2024, bro. You know that man's build is A1, excellent. A lot of people get treated differently about how, how much of a following they have. And it's kind of disgusting, bro. Like, it's never that important and it's never that deep. If you got a fire build and you're a cool person, I'm gonna rock with you. If you got a fire build and you're not a cool person, I mean, that's history, bro. That's history. Can't rock with somebody who's not cool. It's demon time. I got a bone up here. So, let's talk about my hot takes on a stance car scene. All right, if you're running big camber, if you're running little camber, it don't even matter. If your tilt does not match a single body line on your car, you'll fit me buns. Camber does not mean your car is clean or your car is cool, okay? And if you look from the back of the car and your camber looks goofy, you fit me buns. Stance is 
how good the car looks, not about how much camber you run it. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt a lot of feelings, but we're going to hurt a lot of feelings with this one. Stance in the BRZ FRS 86. It's played out. It's played out. We have the Rocket Bunny big camber cars. We have the 86 Senseis. Do something else. Stop claiming static if you're not at least tucking the top of your wheel. All right? Yeah, static means your suspension is not moving. But nah, static is different now. It's 2024. Static is a fitment. Next up, you Baddock folk. Stop claiming Baddock. That stuff is not cool, okay? We all know when you see a speed bump, you're still hitting your little buttons on your controller. The reason I know is because I do it, and I ride super low. And when I see a speed bump, bro, I spent all this money on air suspension. Ain't no way in hell I'm, I'm scraping my car, bro. There's just no point. I bought the air ride. I'm going to use it. I ain't going to claim Baddock, though. This might hurt some feelings. Fender the lip is not good fitment. All right? Especially when you see them cars rolling down the road. Bro, come on now. Yeah, that could be an L take. That could be a hot take. You take it how you want. That's just what I think. Now, I hope a lot of you guys like this one. Stance in a minivan, a truck, or anything out of the ordinary is actually super cool. If you find a car that's not normally built, and you build it up, and it looks cool, kudos to you. And I applaud unique builds. Because like I said earlier, we have our 86s. We have our RSXs. We have our Subarus and STIs and WRXs and stuff like that. Do something else. All right. Be unique. Be creative. Stand out from the norm. All right. Extreme camber is not that cool. All right. Like I mentioned earlier, if it looks bad from the back and it looks even worse from the front and it only looks good from the side. Buns. Band world. Get them out of here. We don't like that. Big camber builds that does not flow with the car is butt cheeks. Stance car club do not define your popularity and who you are. All right. And this really goes out to the banner chasers. All right. Just because you're an X club don't mean you're the hottest shit that's ever been pooped out on this toilet. Okay. All right. Humble yourself, buddy. <laughs> Humble yourself, buddy. <laughs> now, this could be an L take. I don't know. But hear me out. MB Battles are one of the only reputable rap brand wheels that I've ever seen in my entire life. They look so good, bro. I don't care if they they real things, they're the fake things. MB Battles will always be fire. That's, a, that's my hot take. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So, if you like this type of content and you'd like to see more, I can make a series out of it. And I can also, I can include you guys too. So that's the benefit of it as well. So if you guys want a part two and a part three, hit the like button. If I see, you know, an insurgence of likes, I'll go ahead and create uh, a new video on it. So, uh, yeah.